Clifford, can Argentina afford to turn its back on its seemingly most important trading partner? Well, I think um, it's kind of difficult to work out exactly what's going on here because, as with many populist leaders, um, you see you, you've seen this anti-China stance whereas um, the back channels have been much more conciliatory towards China. I don't think Argentina can afford to turn its back on, on China, but I think what this is more a question of is that Argentina is turning more, focusing more on the US. So a lot of the roles that China has taken until now, um, I think Argentina is hoping that the US will step in because he is very anti-communist. He made this very clear during the elections. He called China an assassin. Um, in recent days, um, there's been reports on social media how he's saying, telling people don't be communist, which may or may not be um, satirical. It's quite hard to work out sometimes with these social media of his. But um, I think basically it's as much a, a, a looking towards the US as it is turning away from, from China. So don't be communist from the Argentinian leader, but also there's a reliance there. What's at stake for China? What about the other side? Well, a lot of this has to do with China's Belt and Road Project, which is a massive in infrastructure investment program. And for China, um, it's positioning itself very much as a champion of the global south. And Argentina um, and many Latin American countries are also within this grouping. Um, China is also a leader in the BRICS organization of, with Brazil, Russia and India, uh, look, and South Africa. And he uh, has said, Millet has said that Argentina will no longer join that. So um, in, in many ways, it's, it's pulling out of, of this traditional sphere of influence that China is trying to build up at the moment. So it's, it has quite serious ramifications for, for Beijing.